Uh, what's going on? I'll tell you. Your father and I are trying to plan tomorrow's ceremony when Catherine and Rachel come back knowing full well I don't want them here. Every time I turn around, I find Catherine lurking, waiting to make another desperate play at Martin. Catherine and I came in here to have a sherry, and your mother started right in on us, demanding that we leave. Only you don't live here, we do. No, honey, listen, it's no big deal. The, the ceremony has everyone a little on edge. Things will be calmer after, you know, tomorrow. Well, of course, Papa. You two are renewing your vows tomorrow in front of friends and family and God. And then everyone will know that you two are committed to each other for life. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what I just realized? Mama, you've got to stay here tonight. Papa, you've got to stay at your house. Why? Why? It is bad luck for the groom to see the bride on the day that they say I do to each other. Oh, my God. You're right. Yes. You're absolutely yes. right. Yes, come on. Let's go, Papa. Out of here. We can't risk you being here past midnight. Well, come on. You know, Let's go. Uh... Martin, may I speak with you just for a moment before you leave? What about? Whatever it is, I am sure it can wait till tomorrow. Not so fast, ladies. Sit down. I insist. You comfortable? Yes, quite comfortable. Good. Because I think you should enjoy this feeling. Because the next time either one of you tries to come between my parents, I won't hesitate to throw you out on the street. There's no need to be rude, Teresa. Well, I think I'm being nice, actually, considering I'm the new Mrs. Alistair Crane. Right? Which leads me to my next point. We have all had Alistair. Or shall I say he has had us. So I deeply empathize with the two of you. Now, Catherine, you are Julian and Sheridan's mother, and you are their aunt, so your family, you've got every right to be here. Thank you, Teresa. Of course we do. Yes, you have every right to be here, as long as you respect my wishes. Simply leave my parents alone. Do not come between them. If you do, I won't think twice about having you both ship back to Boston in matching pine boxes. God, that's an awful thing to say. Oh, it's fair warning. You leave my mother and father alone, or else. Yes, and yeah. Catherine, one more thing. Remember to be someplace else other than here tomorrow. I mean, I can't imagine that you would like to see Martin take me as his wife again. And you could keep your sister company. Yeah. Rachel, do that. Shall we? Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Good night, ladies, and um, please don't forget to turn the lights off before you leave, because unlike the two of you living here, electricity, it isn't free. Catherine, I warned you not to wait until the last minute to make your play for Martin, and now he's gone for the night along with your chance to make him realize that you two belong together. I know, I know, I know I'm not good at going for what I want. I'm trying. But Teresa standing there ready to pounce didn't make it any easier. Oh, yeah, she is a clever one. Making her father go home to stay in his house for the night. Catherine, I hate to say it, but it may be too late to stop him from recommitting to Pilar. No, no, it can't be, Rachel. In less than a day, he is going to renew his vows with Pilar in front of his family, his friends, and God. After that, he will never leave her. You're right. It's true, Martin is a man of his word. If you're serious about winning him back, you better do something, and you better do it fast. You're right. I do still have a chance. Rachel, I am going to give it everything I've got.
these vows with Pilar tomorrow, you'll be making the biggest mistake of your life. Please don't say that. Mark, you know it's true. You love me. I love you. We belong together. You and Pilar, you don't. Not anymore. Catherine. Mark, please stay with me. Be with me. This isn't right. Oh, yes, it's right. We love each other, Martin. And, and, and I love Pilar. Not the way you love me. Pilar is my wife. I wouldn't be renewing my vows to her tomorrow if I didn't love her. Don't lie to me, Martin. Don't lie to yourself. You're renewing these vows because you feel guilty because you left her years ago. Of course I feel guilty. It's more than that. But you shouldn't do this ceremony because you feel obligated. It's not fair to you, to Pilar. Pilar deserves true happiness, true love. So do you, Martin. You deserve the love and the happiness that we have. I have cheated Pilar out of so many years. I owe her what time we have left. Darling, you are so loving, so noble. But Pilar is not going to be happy if you're not happy, and you won't be if you stay with her. I'm married, Pilar. But you love me. We were together for years, Martin, loving each other so much longer than you were with Pilar. We know each other through and through. Puerto Arena, all those memories of each other, they're too precious to bury. You love me, Martin, and you know it. I don't deny that. Well, don't deny yourself the happiness, the love, the future we deserve. Be with me, Martin. Oh, my love, be with me. Are you in there? Martin, answer me. You're not already asleep, are you? No. I'm not. I do. No, Martin. It's time for Pilar to find this out before the ceremony tomorrow. Pilar, wait. God, 